What's up, y'all, and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Today, we are going to be checking out Ren with his music video for Hi Ren. I've only ever heard Ren one time, and it was in the context of the big push. It was, I think, what's referred to as the Red Suspender session where he's out busking on the streets. It was super cool, but I've never actually listened to any of his solo music. So a lot of folks said this is the place to start. Steven did a reaction to this a few months ago, and he said it was amazing, but I never really took the time to watch it. Um, so today we're going to be checking it out. I've heard that he's an amazing lyricist. He's basically like the modern day equivalent of a bard, I guess people would call it, um, but that this will just blow me away by, you know, everything about it is supposed to just be mind boggling. Um, so I'm excited to dive in, see what it's all about. Normally, there's a lot of pausing and analysis. A lot of people have said you just need to watch this one kind of all the way through um, and try to pause and comment as little as possible. So I'm going to try to do that um, so that I don't break the flow of it. But before we get into it, a few ways you guys can continue to support the channel. You can head on over to Patreon and become a member there. If that doesn't work for you, right here on YouTube, you can become a channel member. Both of those are going to get you access to priority requests, as well as other perks and features. And then as always, with a one-time donation through Buy Me A Coffee, you can get a guaranteed request that either Steven or I will react to right here on the channel. All right, y'all, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. Ren with his official music video for the song High Ren. The background of it's already looking a little sketchy, but I'm sure it's got something to do with the story. I've heard that everything Ren does is super intentional, so I'm sure it's going to have something to do with it. Let's get in here and check it out. Dude's in a pig mask. It does sound like bard music. walk up there not at all what I expected hi there Rand it's been a little while did you miss me Really connecting 
And the people who find it, respect it And for me that's enough cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ren, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal Next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong When I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with his subconscious Eminem did it Played on guitar Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people Material. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great. And I will make waves. And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us. That's right. Speak your truth. Your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you. Say it instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren I'ma fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it, who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal. Feeble and normal, you wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of ends. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. This is wild. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill. But just as sure as the tide starts turning, just as sure as the night has dawned, just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm. I was made to be tested and twisted. I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope Ooh. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Because I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch your shame. So cower at the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs that I won't retire. I'll stand in your fire, inspire that me to be strong. And when I am gone, I will rise in the music that I left behind. Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you, we're a coimented different side. This is so cool. Still got a couple minutes left. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, 
I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare. But there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. Bro, we got a dope song. We got a dope monologue. Holy crap. Woo, man. Oh, well, there was multiple times in there with the goosebumps, man. That was, that was a journey. Oh, wow. Woo, man. Y'all could have warned me before I got into that, I guess. Um, I, yeah, I, I honestly didn't know. Again, my only experience with Ren was him like out busking on the streets um playing I, I think it was I shot the sheriff that we watched and reacted to um I had no clue um obviously I how could I have any clue about uh, the battles that he faced he said like autoimmune disease and psychosis and all these different things um that he struggled that he's battled with um I mean and I get it like I don't um I don't really suffer from any like mental health stuff um, or any like autoimmune disease or anything like that. Um, so I don't know like the personal struggle of that. Um, but I definitely know like, you know, people who have suffered from depression. I spent 12 years working for the government um, with kids like 10 to 14 years old that were battling mental health issues. Um, and so like I actually devoted a, a large portion of my adult life to helping people through those things, you know, with therapy, uh, behavior management and modification, just trying to get them through their struggles. Um, so from an outsider's perspective, like, um, again, I don't really know the internal struggle, but I've, I've been a part of a lot of people's lives that have struggled with those things and tried to help lead and guide them through it as best I can. Um, but yeah, that was that was wild, man. We got a, a crazy song. I had no idea that he could like rap, basically. I mean, I would call that rapping. Um he had he had an insane flow. He's playing guitar the whole time. Um, the lyrics were so deep, so introspective. I mean, I know, you know, being a musician and a content creator, there is that internal struggle, you know. Are your motivations good? Why are you doing what you're doing? Does it really matter? Um, and it does, you know, it rears its head sometimes and makes you question everything about what you're doing. I um, mean, you try to justify it. You try to talk, talk to yourself, talk yourself through it about why you're doing it. Um, so I, you know, that aspect of it, I get, I, uh, wow. I, I had no idea the, uh, that the song was going to be that deep. I was like, oh, it's, you know, had, Honestly, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. Um, when the pig mask dude wheeled him in on a wheelchair, I was like, oh, this is going a totally different direction than what I thought. Um, yeah, he's. I knew he was a good guitar player, right? Because I'd seen him play on I Shot the Sheriff, um, playing the electric guitar, you know, out in the street stuff. But I didn't know that he was that intensely good as far as like music theory and chord changes and all this different stuff. Um, you know, playing almost multiple different personalities in there with different different cadences and different flows and different vocal inflections, changing the music to match whatever personality or whatever inner voice was was speaking at the moment. Um, and just the, the overall just tension of that song, like, cause that's really what it's about, I guess. Right. You know, this, just this internal struggle and this constant tension. He talked about at the end that it's kind of an eternal dance. There's no winners. There's no losers. Um, that it's just a constant pendulum swinging. There always is that internal tension, but man, that's, he put it to words in a way that like, 
was just eloquent and like deep at the same time. Uh, there was a couple times in there, man. It was, it was, it was goosebumps. I'm not really like a super emotional dude. Um, not that you could tell that at all by my flat facial expressions half the time. Um, but like that song, like that, that, that spoke, man, that was, uh, and it was just raw and real. I know there's been a lot of people that said that he does stuff in like one take. Um, I don't know if this was a one take thing. I saw he had a lapel mic on his guitar was plugged in. So I don't know if he just popped in a room and just did this, um, or how they did it all. If it was shot on one camera, I don't know. I'm sure y'all fill me in, in the comments. Um, if that's the case and it's all one take, then even more kudos to him. Not only did he write an amazing song, but then he pulled it all off in one take. That's even more impressive for sure. Um, but yeah, I think the only way to describe that is just what a what a journey. That was whew, unexpected and deep. And uh yeah, I mean he he deserves all the hype that he gets because he is uh he's phenomenal. All right, y'all. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so every time we drop new content, you guys can be made aware. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.